Hello there, welcome to my channel. Today's video is a speed build. It is a very short video. I'm making what is technically like an eco-friendly style loft house. And is there gonna be like too many eco like appliances or things like that? Not really, but the exterior, I kind of wanted to emulate that this is someone who's into like being eco-friendly. So you have like that. I never use that roof, like um, type of roof with the, the um, the sun panels on it before i think it came with island paradise but i could be wrong i figured i kind of was inspired with that to do that and kind of get that eco vibe going with this so yeah um you'll see that i do like a lot of windows and stuff i wanted to really light the place up and it is like i said a loft styled place so it only technically is one bedroom but there's no door because you have to go upstairs obviously it's open so this is technically for like either a single sim or a like a couple and that's pretty much it you could expand on this because this is on the 30 by 20 lot though i do leave some empty space for this as well so i do some like greenery and like a backyard and stuff like a very small one but other than that like there's a lot of space for you to expand on this if you like let's say wanted to make like a second like bedroom and put it on the first floor you could do that too so you know there's options to expand on the home if you really wanted to for gameplay if you ended up using this but yeah so one bathroom um i quickly show doing some of the bathroom and stuff like that a standard kitchen with a three-seater um like tabletop and um, i have like a full living room concept that's where they enter through the house is like the living room space i even put a washer and dryer with like a hamper and things like that and again, I do use some store items. It's something that I typically do because a lot of the time, sadly, the store is what um, offered a lot of like different unique styles for different aesthetics. So that's what I use. Um, but yeah, I always like to preface that just in case. But if you download this from the Sims 3 Exchange, it typically will show you what store items are used if you go to that tab anyway. But I like to preface it just in case. Um, yeah, so this, like I say, I kind of speed run through the bathroom. I skip over some things because it's just a bathroom. Bathrooms are kind of boring. But I wanted to make the shower and the tub separate because I just felt like in the space that would be like appropriate and especially I wanted to fill in the bathroom because it's pretty big. So yeah, um, that I just do like little finishing touches here and there. I like to add like the little toothbrushes and things like that. The fact that they never gave us that as like a base game object or like in a different pack or something kind of baffles me because they usually give you little clutter and stuff. I feel like Generations would have been the perfect expansion for them to give you like a piece of clutter with like a kid's toothbrush or like just a multiple toothbrushes in a cup. So I'm surprised they never thought that. But again, we got a lot of gameplay with the, their expansions. So I'm too, I'm a little more forgiving with The Sims 3 um as compared to the sims 4 anyway no sh no shading to the sims 4 right now but yeah so i do the kitchen and for this house i kind of wanted to go for a slightly modernized theme so it's more like contemporary um they like i i use the diesel stuff pack a little bit for this i feel like the diesel stuff pack i don't know if that was like one of the last stuff packs they did i think it was movie stuff that was the last one but diesel stuff was like very it was a bit more contemporary with the style like it was a bit more like towards the middle i think right of not the middle but it was like oh still the beginning because this game came out towards the beginning of the early 2010s but um it was more inching towards closer to the middle of the 2010s and i feel like the style was starting to shift a bit both um you know like fashion wise and like home decor and stuff so this is kind of, it kind of gives like industrial loft which is why i was kind of inspired to do that so yeah you'll see that um i kind of play around i do add a little bit of slightly outdated looking um like technology and stuff like that i think i add like a house phone in this has like a landline phone just because i wanted to fill in the wall you could always delete it i typically don't use them anyway in the game but for storytelling purposes you totally could um, and then I use like that sort of like stereo system, which to me screams more 90s and like early 2000s because I used to have one, like it wasn't mine because I was a kid, but it was like my grandparents or my mom's or someone's um, and we would play like all, like all our CDs on that type of stereo. Like it actually looks almost exactly like one that we had in like one of the rooms and I would like always listen to like Destiny's Child and like Hilary Duff and like christina million things like that <laughs> so yeah like i loved um 
yeah it just brings back memories honestly seeing something like that but yeah um i don't have too much more to say i don't think um i just wanted to kind of go over some of the stuff and like the inspiration for this build um like i said so this will be obviously this is going to be the loft space area on the top floor and um i do kind of make it slightly artsy i want it to be like maybe the person has a slightly eclectic style um and maybe you know like i said i want it to be sort of contemporary maybe industrial slightly so i wanted to go for something like that um sorry i was going through i was just like saving it and stuff i, I like to do that because sometimes the game will crash it's very unpredictable but um so yeah like i um i think i am using something from yeah i use that with like the mirror so it's kind of like a two in one which i like that they gave us that in the sims 3 um so i use that i figured that would save space anyway and it kind of went with maybe the vibe of like the sims that would live here and i do of course maneuver things around to make it fit i even fit a desk up here for a, like a pc computer maybe they're a sim who works from home maybe they are um i don't know a fashion designer an artist maybe they're an architectural designer because we have those type of careers in the game if you have ambitions so you know there's different stories that you could tell and um yeah uh, so that's kind of all i was really going for with this i'm not going to talk too much more i'll probably just throw some music over the, towards the end of this video and don't forget to stay tuned for the the um screenshots you know the slideshow that i do because i always showcase off the photos of the finished build because i also sometimes do stuff off camera just because some of it's kind of boring or tedious so yeah stay tuned for that but thank you for watching this don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already to see more of my content i do much more than just speed builds on my channel for quite a while i've been doing like um some let's plays and i do like different like i do like mod reviews world reviews i do um just like other type of gameplay videos i showcase like custom content from time to time that i have downloaded all those types of things so don't forget you know if you're interested in that to hit subscribe but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoy and take care bye Thank you.